Welcome to GreatSafe.com. Going to bring you a video preview and a lowdown on the sizing on the all-new Predator Pro Classic. This is uh, a new introduction from Adidas. New colorway as well. Uh, this is just just come in store. We're filming at the uh, start of January 2015. This is uh, the model below the Zones uh, Zones Pro. Not loads of differences really. Uh, the Zones Glove which I've video previewed as well. you obviously got the zones across the back end and you've also got the zones on the tips so you've got the grippy areas on, on the tips. This is just a 3.5mm Nova foam with a 4mm backing. Quite a tacky foam from the off. Fits very very nice. Slightly different fitting glove compared to the, to the zones but it's just because the zones has got the overlap latex so they've overlapped on the latex which makes the fingers a little bit snugger. Gone for a straight 7 in these and the size is perfect. I would normally wear an 8 in goalkeeper gloves, but these are re real generous for size. Adidas just are generally a lot more generous for size. Wrap over thumb, wrap under thumb, really nice fitting thumb. Though I'd say the thumb on the zones fits nicer because of the, of the extra latex wrapped over the top and across. It does make it a lot snugger, so the, there's a little bit more movement in the thumb. But my thumb is right on the end there. My fingers are on the end because so with, a, with a negative cut, you want it as tight as you possibly can. Latex gussets as well. So overall, the glove build is is very very nice. There's no loose stitching on it at all. It's very very clean. Full latex backhand as well. It's pretty hard wearing as well. Just lightweight. Doesn't have the zones in it. But overall, it's a very very well constructed glove. We can kind of give it a little bit of a comparison to the to the zones. Worth noting that there's a double stitch across the base of the uh, of the latex. There was issues with popping on the Zones Pro, uh, but there's a double stitch on there now. Neoprene uh, bandage, which is pretty tight fitting, but they do stretch after a, a short while. In regards to the size seven, so you can kind of compare it to any gloves you might have at home uh, when you're shopping around. You're looking at, at this glove um, from the top of the stitch. So I went to the very top to the base is 20.5 length. 20, or oh, not even 20. And it kind of cuts up across a little bit. If you go down the middle, yes, yeah, about I'd say 20. I'd say 20 lengthwise. And the width-wise, if you went from the base of the stitch on the finger to the outside of the, the stitch on the outer side of the glove is 11. So that give you a little bit of an idea of when you're looking in. Look at half a centimeter up for each, half the size in that glove. A little bit of a comparison to the to the zones, and just pop a pair on and see how they feel. If I can get it on my hand, they're pretty tight to get on, to be honest. I've already had these on. So the comparison is is definitely the the zones on the fingertips and the on the and the thumb that make it a tighter fit. That just feels a bit looser where this feels a lot tighter. So that's the, the main difference. The foam is exactly the same, it's just this grippy zone. Uh, if, if I had a choice on which one to buy, it's pretty hard call to be honest because they're both really, really nice gloves. This probably outweighs it but then there's there's more technology and the fit slightly better. But if you don't fancy all the fancy zones and all the extra materials, go for the classic. There's, there's pro professional goalkeepers in the Premier League wearing this so it's, it's a really good glove and the foam you can rely on as well. hope that gives you a better insight into the Predator Pro Classic in the comparison with the, with the Zones Pro.